everybody, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use command blocks. Well, not really, like, fully use them, but how to make water deadly. So the first thing you want to do is get a command block, which, if you can't get them from the normal creative inventory, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to do slash give at dry turnips, and then I'm going to do, um, give, just put in a C, command block, and so that's going to give me a command block, and then you're going to want to, um, place it like that and redstone comparator and so what you want to fill in is this command right here I'll copy and paste it into the description so you can just do it like that and you want to turn off needs redstone to always active and then put it to repeat basically what this does is it checks if the person's in water and since we're right now we're making the water deadly what we're gonna want to do is kill now I'm gonna do dry turn up so one thing I want to say here is that this isn't going to work for a multiplayer server because if you set it to all it's gonna kill everyone if you just set it to me it's just gonna kill me so basically what's gonna happen when I get into this water is we just put all that stuff out there so I can just get it. it's gonna kill me and so yeah and basically it just kills you there's some other effects you can do which are so since you can change it whatever you want you can have it like revoke enchantments give them advancements there used to be there used to be achievements at some point you can also like probably the best one to do most people would probably use is it can do effects so you can say give at all and you could do something like blindness so every time i walk through water oh wait i forgot to set seconds uh we can just do we can do like five seconds so that when they're in the water and we can just do a hundred because you know hide particles true and then so that's gonna make it so if they go into the water they can't see anything I don't know that might be good for something and then another thing is you can tech you can use this command on any um, block so if I didn't want it to be water and I wanted it to be just dirt or actually it would be grass in this scenario I could do that and so basically every time I walked on grass it would keep me like that but if I'm flying I think the blindness should wear off any second now but if I'm on the grass okay this might have to be grass block oh yeah yeah if it'd be this grass that would make me blind oh and if you don't want to see it say give enchantments you could do game rule and then you can do it's gonna be command bulk output and you wanna set it to false. All that's basically gonna do is well if you're really testing things, I say you leave this on, but all it's really gonna do is it's not gonna like turn off the effects from the command blocks. It's just gonna um, make it so you can't see it. So if I walk into class again, it just won't say it. So yeah. Actually it might be good if you're making a horror map having it so you can do like that and you can always like hide them in the ground and stuff and there's a bunch more you can do like you can set it up so it can do if you really wanted to like two effects like you could like give at all players slowness and do like five seconds and you can make this one actually i'm not gonna do 100 that sounds horrible so in the six that might still be a little not so if i walk through this it's gonna make me slower which, like, you can, like, use these effects for pretty much anything. So, yeah, this is going to be, like, just a basic tutorial on how to do stuff like that in command blocks.